Hey guys, so seriously, what do you really do? Think about it. How many times do people ask you in any given day, what do you do? What do you do for a living? What do you do in your business? What is your business? What do you do? And how many of us can say A, B, C, D, E, F, G? We do a lot of things. We do all of it. We do a whole bunch of stuff. But I want you to take a minute and think about what you really do. What is that one thing that you do so great, that just fires you up, that seriously just gets you so excited that you can't contain it, what do you really do? Figure out what that one thing is. And now, figure out how many clients you do that one thing for. Now, I know a lot of entrepreneurs, heck, this has been me. How many of us in our businesses are doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of all of it and you feel like you're constantly being pulled in 10, 20, 50 different directions by everybody? I want you to take a minute and close your eyes. Think about how different your business would be if you offered one or two services only and if those one or two services were so specific and so detailed in what you did that you attracted your perfect client. Perfect client. Ah, that's what comes to mind when I think of perfect client for all of us. So what if you did just that in your business and you became so phenomenal at it that you made more money doing just one or two services, then you make offering 10 or 15 different services, and hold up, here's the kicker. What if you had more time doing that? More money, more time. Who wants that? Because that is freaking amazing. And it really is possible. But we live in a society where more is better. More of everything has become so much better in everything we do. In the food we buy at the grocery store, in the TV we watch, in everything. More vacations, more, like literally more everything. I can't even come up with an example where more has not been depicted as better in the world we live in. But what if you took that more and you made it less in your business and you became so great at it that you were the go-to person. That whenever anybody thought of, I need somebody that does X, Y, Z, everybody would say, that's this person. Hey guys, thanks for hopping on, I appreciate it. Um, but seriously, what if you were the go-to person for one or two things, instead of being tossed in a handful of people that do several things. It's really actually a thought that I want you to sit down and think about tonight. Today, whenever it is you're watching this video, if you're catching the replay, I want you to just take a minute after this video and think about it. What if you offered less, but could have more money and more time away from your business to be with those you love? to be with your family, to spend time with your friends, to take vacations that are not working vacations because Lord knows we all do that. Anybody else guilty? Because I know I'm guilty of that. My kids get quite upset with me for that. So I really want all of us to take a look at what we could do. What is the one or two things that just light you on fire in your business, like get you so excited that when your feet hit the floor in the morning, you're like, yes, I get to do this today. This is what I get to spend my day doing. Figure out what that is. Then take a look at learning more about it, becoming the expert in your field on that specific thing. And take a look at your business and what it would look like if you cut out a lot of those other services that aren't making you that money, a lot of those other things that don't make you happy to do it. A lot of those other things that really when a client calls, and says, hey, I wanna hire you for this, you instantly just go, okay. 
because we all offer those services. I, if anybody doesn't offer those services, I would love for you to pop it in the comments below and let me know because you are phenomenal and that is awesome. So really just want you guys to think about that. Like do less, have more. Take a moment and think about that. What, what that looks like for your business guys. My thought for the day, have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for popping on.